Hello, welcome to a Gipscan Tech Tip Overview. This tech tip is how to create and use custom toolbars. Creating a programming environment that keeps your tools that you use every day at your fingertips can really make your programming much more efficient and save lots of time. Today I'm going to show you how to customize the toolbars in Gipscan so you can take advantage of this feature to streamline your programming. First let me demonstrate how to use my toolbars today. You can custom design them to fit your personal needs. Well, first of all, you might notice my toolbar, just a quick glance here. This is my standard miscellaneous toolbar, and these are my five axes toolbars. All my options for rotary and five axes work. We can select faces that you might want to extract geometry off and just click extract. You can do it and you got it. If I want a midpoint off a line, we can grab one. If I want a circle center point, I can click it and get that. Maybe I want to put a little dimension here and put a circle command up in my floating toolbar. So your commands can be as many as you'd like, but the things you use every day are what we want to put up in that toolbar. Now kind of let me show you how you can create yours from scratch. So I'm going to go to custom toolbars and menus, and this is the command box. We're going to go down and load the default profile that I saved on an installation. So I'll scroll down and go to my custom profile folder and go grab default standard installation of, of toolbars. This is what you get when you install Gibscam. I'm going to turn off the uh, MTM and the summaries because it's wasted real estate for me and go back to customize toolbars and menus. This program error checker wasted real estate. I'm going to pull it out of there. That's, that's on your rendering palette as well. The geometry palette and the dimensioning here, I'm going to downsize that and turn with text off. Now I've gained a lot more real estate for putting items in my toolbar. First we need to go to the toolbar tab and type in a name for it. I'll type miscellaneous and go back to my command box. All the commands are in here, but looking for them can be tedious. I'm going to type in a name. So show position. You can type in the partial name, it'll pull it up. Maybe a 2D rotate. We can grab and stick that up here. How about translate? We can grab and stick that up here. Maybe a move part origin. We can grab and stick that up there. Uh, how about uh, midpoint? Grab my midpoint up here. Um, circle. How about circle center point? Grab that up here. And yeah, maybe my uh, macro for uh, point on face. So as you're, you know, putting commands in there, you can stop and go back to work and put more whenever you like. But when you start using an option quite regularly, you might want to think about putting it in your toolbar. Now to change the size and appearance of these, you have to keep this open. So if you right click, you can turn with text off. You can move these all around and change them as well. But I'm just going to downsize them and piggyback them too high. If you want them three high, you right click and turn large icon off. Now they'll be three high. You can always take and reposition these anywhere you want within your palette. Uh, but the more you build, the more you kind of play with it to get it how you want. And don't forget about saving that profile and keeping it uh, for safe keep. And you can also share it and email it if you like. So that's kind of a little skinny on how you create toolbars. I'm going to uh, load in my own toolbar, show a couple more things here. Now, you can have a lot of toolbars. If you drag and drop them up on the ribbon bar, they're going to be horizontal. If I pull it out, now it's horizontal. And you can work like this. If I do drag it back up to the little space I have left on my ribbon bar, I do have a jog over because it's kind of cluttered. Of course, you could go three high on some of those icons. Or if you want to use it vertically, you can drag it right over on the side. And then the first little icon here will switch that so it's condensed, so it's vertical. And this would be kind of a larger uh, display and smaller display. So it's kind of your own cockpit that you're building, your control panel, how you want to work and think. Um, I hope you can take advantage of this. I hope this tech tip will help you, inspire you to customize your toolbars so you can make parts faster and save time. If you have any questions on toolbars, please reach out to your Gibbscam reseller.